NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. Time right now, 717 on this election day. Guys, I can't get over these temperatures. It really just, right? Yeah. That, that's my description right there. <laughs> You know, it's funny that you say that because this is normal for this time of year. Mm -hmm. You know, 40s and 30s, we're th we should be thankful it's not lower than that I right know, now. right? Well, when you spoil us with the 70 degree temperatures. Right. Mm -hmm. That's understandable. But you know who's taking full advantage of this cold weather? Check it out. Killington Mountain. Yeah. Look at that. Sarah Beth's very excited about this. <laughs> But you know, they've got a lot of work to do. The World Cup only a couple weeks away and that entire slope of the Superstar Trail needs to be white. So they're sparing no expense here getting these snow blowers going on the cold mornings, starting off at the top of the slope and of course working their way down. I think they'll have some trouble at the end of the week with some rain temperatures in the 50s and 60s. But as we go towards next week, it does look solidly colder across the region. We're at 40 this morning in Burlington, 38 in Plattsburgh, below freezing in the Adirondacks and also below freezing in some pockets of the Northeast Kingdom. Upper 30s, low and mid 40s for Southern Vermont and New Hampshire compared to this time yesterday, a solid 15 to 20 degrees colder. So it's a big difference you'll notice as you're stepping out the door. And with the northwest wind, we were only making it to the mid 50s this afternoon. It'll come with a lot of sunshine, but the feels like temperature will stay in the 30s even late in the day because that northwest wind doesn't look to let up. Now we are back in the 60s later this week, but along with that, we'll have to watch subtropical storm Nicole for some local impacts to our weather. And that likely comes in the form of widespread rain late Friday into early Saturday. So let's get you the latest on Nicole. This is the seven o'clock advisory. Winds have strengthened a little bit, 50 miles per hour. The reason it's a subtropical storm is because it's not entirely tropical. You can see here just in its characteristics, not very impressive on satellite, but it will increase in strength to a weak category one hurricane making landfall north of West Palm Beach, Florida Thursday morning. And then it takes that northward turn and passes by New England as we go Friday into Saturday. So along with that will come the rain. You can see how it moves up the eastern seaboard, getting here about Friday evening, pouring rain overnight into early Saturday, and then out it goes as we look towards Saturday evening. But you won't have to worry about any rain before then. It's the rest of today and into tomorrow, beautiful blue skies and a little bit chillier than normal, more clouds to the north uh, tomorrow evening. And then we're back in the 50s and 60s as we go towards Wednesday and Thursday. A little bit of rain Friday into Saturday and then dry but much cooler as we look towards next week. Back to you.